I'm on a street here in northeast Calgary where a small community of people has sprung up, living in RVs, living in campers and trailers and uh, truck campers, all here for the same reason, which is the uh, rising cost of living and just how hard it is to find a place to rent and live in Calgary. Now, two of them have agreed to chat to us about their situation. We've agreed not to share their names because they're worried about how that might impact them finding work in the future. So do you say in the same spot or do you find that people want to move around different parts of the city? We tend to stay right here around Deerfoot City because this is a heavy trailer and truck squats a lot, so we tend to stay here. But a lot of people do move around to other places. Yeah, well, let's take a look inside. So this is home? For the time being, yeah. Till we can afford to do an upgrade. How did you end up here living in a trailer in Calgary? Back April 2023, I broke my leg in two places. Um, eight weeks later, I was back at work. Uh, I was actually one of these people who actually loved their jobs. Um, and then two months after that, I got laid off due to shortage of work. And that's when we decided, you know, I'm entitled to EI, make the move out here because living on EI is cheaper to live out here than it is in BC. So we came out here to Calgary. What's it like in the winter? You know, we, we had this really deep freeze a couple of weeks ago. How do you survive out here? Lots of gas in the vehicles and engines running full time. But, you know, our main expense is propane for cooking with, which is usually about 120 bucks. When people see, you know, people like us out here living like this, you know, most of the time, approach us, you know, say, hey, how you doing, you know, you know, find out the story. Because most everybody is willing to, you know, tell their story on why they're out here, what happened. So tell me how you uh, store your food. Well, basically we have two coolers and in the winter time, like, everything is frozen. I mean, even the cheese is frozen. This is where we keep all of our meats and cheese and dairy products and spaghetti sauce, like frozen brick. It's quite the go, and we've been at this now for since April, so almost a year now, and I couldn't be happier being out of the sticks and bricks, as they call them. Yeah. Do you think that will surprise a lot of people? You know, they drive by, they see you living here, they, the, the, the situations that have brought you here might not be positive, but you're finding positives in it, right? That's the thing. Like, I've met a lot of people that have gone from living in apartments and houses and they're just like they can't afford the rents they get into living in their vehicles and they seem to find it a little easier some people they kind of travel around and they find friends and then all of a sudden they've grown into a little community and everybody's watching out for each other and it's it's a life that not a lot of people could adjust to, but some people are adjusting no problem. For myself, yeah, I would like to be warmer places, but <laughs> um, I'm happy.